Okay, here is a quick demo of the Ghost Proxy Control extension uh, that we are releasing in April 2017 in beta. So the way this works is the first thing that you want to do is click the extension icon after you've installed it, and you're going to go to Add and Edit Proxies. Once you click there, you'll see a very nice and easy import that you can use to import as many proxies as you want through a CSV. Um, the CSV also has, you can download a properly formatted CSV, but it also has um, a column for you to provide a custom name for your proxy. So you can use that to name it by the location or by if the company that owns it, if one of your clients owns the, the proxy. So um, here's, the, here's how it works in general. The first uh, feature that I want to show you is to rotate th through the proxies for each session. So if you check that, then every time you open a new session, you're going to get a new IP address. My proxies are, the proxies I'm using right now are not the fastest in the world. So if it's slow, it's because of the proxies, not because of the browser. Um, so as you can see here, th this is my current IP address. This is a proxy IP address. This is another proxy IP address. And when this one loads, it'll be another one. Now, the beauty here is that you can uh, duplicate this tab and it will stay in the same. So each purple group has an isolated cookie jar as well, and it will keep that same proxy. OK, so if I duplicate this, it'll stay with the same proxy. And um, this one finally loaded and looks like that one is rotating through to my direct um, IP address. So when you choose the rotation option, it's basically going to um, select from amongst all of your proxies and it's going to go in order um, from the first one through the last one and then it'll cycle back through and it will also use the direct so um, so that's how that works now the next feature that I want to show you is this um, let's say that you're doing some work well let's show you the override first so first um, this is the Tokyo proxy we can change this specifically to the UK proxy and then we have the option to reload the tab so that you get the new proxy address. OK, so that proxy is now changed. And then you could even clear the session, and that will send it right back to your direct connection. And that's my, dir my direct IP address. Um, OK, the next thing that I want to show you is, so, so now that we have some sessions that are sort of out of order, um, this one uses a direct connection. This is a proxy. This is a proxy. This is direct. Let's say that I want to get these all back into have having their own separate IP address. You can do that with one click, and that's this button here. Reassign existing tabs. When you reassign the existing tabs, it's going to basically rotate all the sessions through another uh, round of proxy rotation. So here we have, this isn't direct anymore. This is whatever the next IP address was, this one. And this one, so this hasn't loaded yet, so it's still showing the old IP address. But if you right click, you can see which proxy is being used. So as soon as that loads, it'll be just fine. And then this one is also different. OK, and then um, let's say that you're doing a lot of work and you are using a lot of proxies and then you just need to get to work. You can use this button, clear project and reload the tabs, and then you're back to your direct connection in all of your tabs. And then, of course, you can use this button again to get them all back on proxies. OK, the next thing that you can do is um, I just want to show you projects here. So if you have, let's say that you have um, different clients that you do social media for or whatever, you can start a, pro a project. And let's say that this client is Wilson Incorporated. And you can use a system like I just showed you, where you are assigning a different proxy to each session. Or you can just set it for the entire project. OK, so here. Um, when you open a new project, the settings are reset. So this box has been unchecked. That's just so that you get more predictable behavior and um, so that 
you don't have settings inherited from another project and then all of a sudden you're using a proxy that you didn't know you were using. So, but we can, you know, we can still choose this option and reassign the proxies. But what I want to show you here is that you can set, do a setting for the active project. So all of these options here will override um, whatever setting you have here and we'll be adding more settings up here later. But um, if I want this entire project to be, to use the UK proxy, then that will load them. Okay. And then this whole project will use it. So that way, if let's say that you uh, live in one country and your client Wilson Incorporated is in another country, then, and you need to use their IP address to handle their social media, you can always have this project linked to their um, IP address. And it's a really convenient way to handle all of their social media as if you were in their country.